Welcome to Creating Dala Art. I'm Chris Carter. What is Dala Art? Dala Art is art created within a circle that's been divided into shapes by one continuous line that may or may not cross over itself. That's it. And within these shapes, you use the world as a reference to bend it and twist it and make it dance through these shapes. You hone your drawing skills, you hone your painting skills, your color skills, especially your design skills. And it's fun while you're doing it. You don't have to worry about whether things are perfect. With Dala Art, you awaken your creative inner artist. You're allowed, just as you always are, to bend the world, to change it. You're not, you're not stuck to reality because Telephone poles don't bend around like they do in a dala. Botanicals are fabulous because they, they twist and turn anyway. And with dala art, you capture that essence of flowers blowing in the breeze. So let me tell you a little bit of the history of dala art and how, for me, it evolved. As I said, Dala Art is art designed within a circle that's been divided into segments by one continuous line. And that line may or may not cross over itself. In my dalas, the line usually does cross over itself. The dala can be of any size in any medium, either abstract or representational. The objects or patterns that fill each segment may be confined within the boundaries of each segment or they can spill out of the segment boundaries and the circumference of the circle. In 2013, to make my color workshop more fun, I used the format of a mandala to create color wheels. Back in my studio, I became obsessed with altering the geometry of the mandalas and playing with variations of color shapes that still resembled a color wheel. One thing led to another, and I began to draw objects into the shapes and to go beyond color wheels to experiment with color schemes. The color scheme game was born. I shared several of the circular paintings with other artists in a color workshop I was teaching in Maryland. Several of them asked if I also created zentangles. At the time, I had no idea what a zentangle was. After a few more nudges, I gave zentangles a try. The first two were fun. After that, I felt restricted by both the small size and the named patterns that were to fill the spaces. My biggest frustration was that I couldn't create a thread line that flowed smoothly across a square. I gave up on zentangles and returned to my evolving mandalas. I added a compass to my travel kit to create mandalas depicting repeat patterns of buildings, seashells, landscapes and plants. On March 24, 2014, while sitting on a fire hydrant across from Theo Chocolate Factory in Seattle, I decided that repeating an intricate drawing of buildings and high tension wires four, five, or six times was a little too tedious. Later that day in the Woodland Park Rose Garden, the first full deviation from the repeated patterns of a mandala occurred. The next step was to bend reality even more by beginning with irregular shapes within the circle designated by a thread line, just like in a zentangle. My thread line danced across the circle and led me to an art form that continues to delight me both in my studio and while traveling. At first, I thought to call these circular patterns zendalas, combining zentangle and mandala. One evening, after creating one of these circular designs of both patterns and objects, drawn with my Lamy Safari fountain pen, my husband laughed and called it a Dala Lamy. The name stuck and the art form has been called Dala Art ever since. Dala Art gives permission to bend the world, to alter forms to fit into shapes, to zoom in as well as to zoom out, to turn reality into an abstract pattern, and to be playful with color. Welcome to the delightful and ever-evolving world of Dala Art.